Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I have mentioned in the past few videos of mine about my traveler's notebook and it has made a few like little sneaky peek um, <laughs> appearances. So I wanted to show you guys how I'm using it and show you all the cuteness inside. So I'll have it linked below. It is a Webster's Pages traveler's notebook and this is the Ashley G. It's the like a limited edition one and it has this super cute little tag on it. There's all different ones you can get. There's a teal one and different colors you can get, and they each have a different little tag on it. So if you don't know what a traveler's notebook is, um, there's a ton of videos you could Google. I've got mine like all chunky and full, and I just love it so much. But basically from what I gather from the tons of videos that I've watched is it's basically a little kind of like a holder for your notebook. So you can put all different types of notebooks inside and there is little bands inside and they hold all the notebooks. So you can totally customize it for all the types of notebooks or things inside of it that you want. So let's get started and I'll show you guys what is in mine. So first of all, it has this absolutely beautiful little panel here and this is like the little um, I forget what it's called, but it's like, oh, the dashboard. And I decorated mine. My birthday was in October, so I decorated mine all up cute for my birthday. And I just love pink and black and bows and cuteness. And so I decorated mine up like that. It has this really nice little picture window, so you could add a little picture of a family member or any type of picture you want, or you could use up your Project Life cards like I did. I have so many of them with cute quotes, and so I just used a really cute Project Life card that has some gold foiling, and it says, love you more. And I just love this. When I see this, I just feel inspired to craft. And I think it's so fun that you can personalize it. Every month, I plan to change it up. So, like, for my birthday, October, I did all cutesy, like, girly black and pink. Now, November's almost here, and I'm going to be doing another one for November. And I'm definitely going to be making it all fall and cuteness. And I plan to take some of my stamped images and color them up and just have a ton of cuteness happening. I also have, so you get this little front pocket here. There is all different little pockets. I'm not going to take all my stuff out, but basically there's like three little pockets there and I just tucked a little cuteness in. There's also a back pocket in here and I just stuck some Project Life cards so it would show that cute little backing. But I've also got some washi tape so that I just took and these are the same colors as what I have going on here. I just put them on a little piece of vellum and as you can see, I don't know how well you'd be able to see it, but I use the gold and the polka dot a lot. Like all that's left is basically it showing for decoration, but I just found this was awesome. Anytime when I was working in my traveler's notebook, I didn't have to go looking for my washi tapes. I just had a whole bunch with me. So I used a lot of these for this month. So I had those stuck in there. I also thought it was really cute. I've got these cute doilies that I got from Michaels like a while ago and I just cut it in half and then like slipped it in and I just think it looks so cute for a little bit of decoration. It's an extra way to like add a pop of color. And then I have some of my stickers back here. These are just, um, these were Heidi Swap stickers and it's just like a little booklet of stickers that matched. So I just went through all of my stash and found a whole bunch of cute things to tuck in there and I just felt totally inspired every time I worked in my traveler's notebook. So as I was saying about the little elastics, these come with four elastics and each elastic can hold a little insert. I will open this up so you guys can see what I mean about the elastic. So the way it comes is you would just have a whole bunch of elastics there and then you can take any notebook you want and put it in. So for the traveler's notebooks, you can use them as like inserts. You can get inserts that are journals. You can get inserts that are planners. There's just tons and tons. So I have four in mine and I'm going to show you the different four that I have. So this is an insert that you can get by Webster's Pages. I got two little notebooks in a pack. I got this one came, let me just grab it from over here. And I also got this pink one. So there was a set that came with the pink striped one and this cute feather one. And you get one that has grid. So this one has grid lines and it's like really pretty light pink lines on it. And the paper is really nice and thick. And the cover of these is like, feels like butter. It feels just like such nice quality and really like smooth and nice. 
And then this one has lines on it. I have one page here at the back that I haven't used yet. So this one has pink lines. You can also get inserts that are just plain and you can make them yourself as well. I made my bullet journal myself, so I'll show you guys that as I get to it. So I'll show you which four books I have and then I'll show you inside of them all. So the first insert I have is my Traveler's Notebook insert, and I use this like a scrapbook. So I'll show you guys that one after I show each of the notebooks. This one is my bullet journal, and I decorated the front. I think it looks so cute. I just used some paper that was from Recollections. I think it was... It was from Michael's. I think it was a Michael's recollection paper pad and it's foiled. I have my little Kate Spade paper clip there and I've used some American Craft alphas there that say that just say bullet journal and then I've got some Maggie Home stickers and I love this little deer. She's just precious. Then for my next um, notebook. I have my bills notebook. I'm probably not, I'm not going to show inside that one. That's for like my household bills and like finance stuff like that. But this is a journal that I got at Chapters and it had all these bows on it and I just fell in love and I'd been hoarding it for like ever and then so I finally used it and then I used some really nice stickers from American Crafts and also some cute little alphas. And then my last book is a, another really pretty notebook that I got from Chapters. And a lot of the notebooks don't fit in here, but I actually just used an X-Acto knife and cut it down so that it would fit. And this one is just like, has samplings of my washi in it so that when I'm looking for a certain washi, I can see which ones I have. So I will get back to the start and show you guys my traveler's notebook journal first. So this is my first one and so I used some alphas just to say volume one. Um, when I got those little these little notebooks they're from Webster's Pages and it came with a really cute little tag so I just tipped that in and then I'm just going to be using this for journaling. So you know those times when you do something fun and you forget to take a picture and then you feel like you can't scrapbook it? I feel so sad because I feel like I lose those memories because I'm not going to remember them probably and I do a lot of things with my family and my husband and my friends that I want to remember but I don't always get photos or I mean I've lost lots of photos on my cell phone or things like that so I think this is a lovely way to keep track of your memories and still be able to journal and just because you don't have a picture doesn't mean that you can't um, put it into your kind of scrapbook. So this was actually a gift for me for my birthday and so I have just been really experimenting and honestly I have been using up everything that I've been hoarding. If I've been hoarding it, it is going into this and I love this traveler's notebook so much and I think the reason I have my crafty mojo going so well with it because I'm using everything that I love and everything that I've been hoarding and I cannot believe how much goodies I've gotten used up. So that was um, basically just a page that I had documented. My husband, um, when it was my birthday, I asked for this for my birthday. So this part, like the actual traveler's notebook, I kept to open until my birthday, but my husband let me have the inserts early. So that's basically what I journaled about here, how I got my inserts early and I was so excited to use them. Um, this day I made cookies and it was a really great day that I spent with my husband. And so I put my cookie recipe here. And if you guys love baking, like screenshot this picture and make these cookies because you won't be sorry they are so stinking good and here's the directions on the other side too and if you make them let me know I want to know how you like them and I just used some project life cards and I cut them up I have so many project life cards I'll never be able to use them if I like started using them now till the day I die like I have so many of them so I started cutting them up because I found that I use a lot of die cuts and so this was a great way to add some more die cuts to my stash and a lot of these bits came from the Felicity Jane collection like a kit that I had got like years ago and so I've been using that up too because I was totally hoarding it this page I love so much. So this is Ginger. This is my mom's dog. Look how cute she is. Isn't she cute? She's a chihuahua. She's a teacup chihuahua. I have two chihuahuas and my mom has a chihuahua. So when my mom goes out of town or if she has company or anything like that, like sometimes we'll babysit for her. So this day we were babysitting Ginger for the weekend and my little Daisy has a little pink house and it, um, looks like a little princess. Like if you could imagine a little gingerbread 
house that's like stuffed that's for a dog that's what it looks like and it has a big pink bow on it so ginger loves it when she comes over so this is just a picture of ginger sitting in this little house and i just used a ton of goodies from my stash this adorable little tool um i had been gifted this by judy bakes if you're watching hi judy um she gifted me this adorable tool and also these little bows and i had been hoarding them and i used them and my page just turned out so cute so i have this as a tip in so um i haven't done the journaling yet I was just having so much fun doing scrapbooking. I have a whole bunch, the rest of the pages are all scrapbooked, but I have to go back and like write in about the day. I'm gonna try harder to make sure that when I journal, I write, but sometimes I just wanna journal and then I go back and write it in. So that is a little ginger. And then I used a whole bunch of goodies that came in the American Crafts Crate Paper Cute Girl collection. So that's where this little die cut came from. And this little card here also came from that collection. And I thought it was cute because we were like having our first sleepover over at our house. So I thought it was cute, the little houses. And then I used my little date stamp there. And then also, oh, here's a better picture for you guys of the little gingerbread puppy house. Isn't it cute? And so it's really tall. So she has lots of room in there, but they have to like kind of duck in to get in. So it's almost like a little secret house. And then there's windows on either side of it. And so they peek in at each other and it's just precious. Like both of, it's big enough, both of my chihuahuas can go inside of it and they just like love it. So that is that page and I did a little bit of watercoloring just with my watercolors that I have from Michaels. The next page, um, this was just a page and I've been experimenting a lot. I don't really love how this watercoloring came out but I'm experimenting with my goodies and that's totally fine. That's what this book is for. I took some cute little doodle bug Polaroids and made it kind of like they were hanging. I used some more of the cute girl ephemera and this day was basically just about... Um, I did a ton of reading. I've been loving reading. I think I've read 17 books this year and I read three books in October. And so this was just about how I spent a whole day like reading and I had like a girly night talking to my mom on the phone for like hours, girl talking. And then these are my little um, dogs, Daisy and Diego. So I'll hold it up so you guys can see. They're so cute. So this is Daisy. She's a little girl, Chihuahua. She's long haired. And then this is my dog, Diego. He is a short haired Chihuahua and they are just so cute. So it says now and then and I had that tipped in because this is what they look like now. Like this was um, the picture from September 29th and then this is when they were babies. So I'll show you when they were babies. That was them cuddling together. Aren't they cute? Oh my goodness. My dogs are basically like my children. So I don't know how many videos I'll share like this. If you guys really enjoy this video, I will continue sharing all of my um, traveler's notebook journals and how I do the dashboards and that kind of thing. Let me know in the comment section if you like these videos and I will continue doing them. But um, my dogs are basically like my children. I don't have any children. I just have two dogs. So they are like my little furry children. And so I always have a lot of pictures of them. The next page was for my birthday. I turned 30 and you know how everyone always says dirty 30? I don't like that saying. Like, I don't know. I just don't want to celebrate my dirty 30. So I had named it flirty 30 and my husband seemed to think that was pretty funny. So that was the title of this page. And this is a really cute Webster's Pages collection. I love this little sprinkled cake. It's so cute. And I use some different um, washi bits and stickers. And I use this really cute little card. And it says 365 days lovelier than before, which I just thought was perfect. And then um, we did a ton of things for my birthday. And we had Chinese food. And it was so delicious. So I kept all of our little fortunes. And I thought it was so cute. I put a little bit of washi there just to tie it in. And then I stapled it on there. So I have all of our little... Um, bits of our fortunes. Then the next page, I made tea biscuits. And okay, if you guys like baking, again, here is another awesome recipe. It is really easy to make and it is way better than the biscuit um, tea biscuits. And honestly, it's not that tricky. So I made these tea biscuits and I was so excited how they turned out. It was my first time making these and I love tea biscuits. So I was so happy to have a really nice recipe for tea biscuits. So I put hooray because I was so excited that they turned out. And I just used a ton of cuteness from my stash. If you guys remember, Bo Bunny used to have a collection. I forget what it was called. It might have been called 
baked with love or sweetness or something like that and it was a baking line and so that's basically everything I used for this paper and I have been hoarding that for probably a good five or ten years like maybe not 10 years, but I've been hoarding it forever and I just loved getting it down in this book. And I had some like puffy stickers from Dear Lizzie that I used as well. Then this page I love so much. So as all of you know, I am on the Not Too Shabby design team. Jamie sent this really adorable tag for um, my October design team package. And look, you guys, it is like so pretty. This stamp set is by Pink and Main. It's, um, I think it's called sunflowers and she like stamped out the background so I wanted to put it in document it into my traveler's notebook I made a little tuck in and put that in there and it's just so precious and then I actually took some paper this is from the simple stories um, fall collection from last year and I just ripped the paper and I think that looks like such a nice little like fall effect I think it looks so nice and I just have it all in there and I've got this little sticker that says love this and so I have that all documented and saved um, then I went to my aunt's for tea and I always go to my aunt's for tea I called it my birthday tea because I went there for my birthday I used this really cute little, um, this was from that company Chicken Nitty, and I had these little cute tea stickers, so it says enjoying the moment. I added this little tip in here, and um, she gave me a beautiful vase of flowers, so I took a picture of it. I don't have all my pictures in here. I have to print them still. I just haven't gotten t around to doing that, but this spot is going to be for um, where I'm going to put the picture of the flower she gave and um, I have an up close picture and also a far away picture so I'm going to put those there and then this was the beautiful birthday card she gave me so I cut it down so that it would fit in here and it says to a very special niece and I just love it that's kind of like I use this as my inspiration for the page and this was actually a Kane Company sticker that I have been totally hoarding so I got that used and then this was also from that Kane Company sticker sheet. It's like a cute little teacup and then it has the little um, tea bag and there's like a little wire that reaches out which is so cute. So I used that. So at this point my camera cut off. I had too much footage on my camera so I had to take a little bit of footage off and so I am filming this on another day. I'm sure you can tell it looks so much brighter. I don't know what the difference is sometimes like I get such good bright lighting sometimes other lighting is not so bright but I'm gonna finish sharing the pages that I had left and I thought I was so smart wearing the same sweater but I actually since doing the first part of this video I had painted my nails so in this part I have painted nails so I wasn't quite as stealth like as I thought <laughs> So for this page, I used some Doodlebug goodies from the Flea Market collection, and I have a little tip in here where I'll add some pictures after as well. We went to visit my in-laws at their trailer, and they were going to be closing it, and so we wanted to go see them before they did that. And then this day, we went to my aunt's on Niagara on the Lake. That's where they live, and we drove down there, and we went to this really, really cute restaurant. It was called the Farmhouse Cafe, and we had a turkey lunch there, and I took this cute little... Um, pamphlet off the table that showed what came in everyone's little meal and then for this page we were at my in-laws house and they have a ton of bird feeders in their backyard and my father-in-law was showing my husband how they're able to feed the birds and so my husband and I actually got to feed the birds in their backyard and it was so incredibly cool I think they were called chickadee birds and they actually landed right in our hands and ate the seeds right out of our hands and when I did it the one bird actually landed in my hand and it just sat there and didn't even eat the food it just sat on my hand and it was literally like the coolest thing ever I was like so excited about feeding these birds and so I love this cute little die cut that I found in my stash I honestly thought I would never use that but this could not have been a better die cut for that page and then this day, my husband and I went to the farmer's market, which is near our house. We love going to the farmer's market, especially in the fall. And we were going to be making some homemade salsa with my mom. So we went to the market to pick up all the ingredients that we would need. And so I just tried to play around with my watercolors here and do like all fall colors. And it will look really cute once I write over top of it with all of my like journaling. And then I just used some die cuts and stickers. Um, the die cuts are from the flea market doodle bug collection that I had picked up at Not Too Shabby. And then this was the day that we made the salsa with my mom. So I just love how this looks. This is an older collection by Simple Stories. 
Um, I forget what this one's called, but it's like from years ago. I d definitely don't think I'd be able to get this one. And I just think this looks really cute. I love how it looks so fallish. And then the next page, um, my husband and I went to see the movie The Girl on the Train, and I used this really cute little stamped image that is from Your Next Stamp. It's also quite old. I've just been using so much stuff for my stash. I love it. And I used the little sentiment that came with it that said, Poppin' Good Day. And I tucked in the little ticket stubs. And then using my sweet stamp shop stamps, I use these really cute little girl and boys. And they're holding up like little countdown signs. It's supposed to be like you're counting down how many days till Christmas or holidays, that kind of thing. But I just put rate this movie with one of my other sweet stamp shop stamps. And then I added in our ratings for the movie. So my husband gave it three and a half and I gave it three. I'd actually read the book. So I think I was a little harder on it. And then I wanted to show you guys, since making that first part of um, the video, I took all the goodies that were in the dashboard and I decorated the last page in my traveler's notebook with it. I thought that would be such a cute way to decorate each traveler's notebook using those goodies, getting them used. And then I have a picture of my traveler's notebook with all the goodies in it. And that way I'll be able to remember how cute the little dashboard looked. So I'm gonna have to do this one up for November and make it fallish now. And so I just have this little bit of washi left and then that's the cute little card that I wanna use for um, November there. I think that will be really cute. It says, a laugh is a smile that bursts and I just love that. And then this was my birthday month so I had a ton of ephemera like birthday cards and different things that I wanted to keep as keepsakes. So I just used a Project Life card and some washi and made a little um, pocket there. And then I just tucked in the various um, little memorabilia that I wanted to keep and some really cute um, birthday cards that I had been given from my friends and family. So that is my traveler's notebook and I just am so excited how it turned out and it's a really chunky and full of so many memories. I love it so much. So now I'm going to show you my bullet journal and um, I mentioned about all the stickers and that that I used on it but in the front here I added some pattern paper and a project life card and I have just um like my key there and then this is my table of contents. I'm not really going to go into showing all the stuff in my bullet journal but um, this is just one example of a page. I have all the books that I've read for this year and I'm just showing the back there with some patterned paper. And here's just one example of a week. Like sometimes I don't use stickers. Sometimes I do on this layout. I just use some stickers and I think that looks really cute there. Like nice folly colors. And then I have my bill binder and then I have my washi book and I love this so much, this little washi book. And I love that little bow. It is from the Crate Paper Bloom Collection sticker sheet. And what I did was I put all of my washies in color coordination so that I can see what colors I have. So I have all of my silvers here and I left a little bit of room underneath each of them so I can add to it. So then I've got my browns and my golds, and I love gold washi a lot, so I saved a little bit there, and then another whole page, I'm hoping to get more gold. And then I have a ton of black, I love black washi so much. It's probably my favorite, I love pink too, but black is probably my favorite. And then I've got some cute Halloween ones there. So this is just a really nice way for me to be able to see all of the washies that I have. And instead of getting out all of my big tubs of washi, I store them in the big iris containers. I have, I think, three of them, maybe even four. I know I have so much washi, but I'm like obsessed with it and I use it. So that's why I have so much of it because it's something that I definitely use. So I'm not afraid to buy more of it because I get a lot of use out of it in my scrapbooking and card making and planners. So I love collecting washi. So this is just a really great way for me to see all the washies that I have. And then I can look through here, see one that matches or that I want to use in my traveler's notebook or on a card or something like that. And then I can just go look through my bins and I have them all color coordinated. So this just makes it so much easier to find. So then I've got my greens and it's kind of like rainbow order, but like backwards. I really wanted the blacks at the front because I use those the most. So I've got my yellows, my oranges, and then also my reds. And this actually isn't all of my washi. I still have probably a whole iris container full of washi that isn't really a color, but more of um, a season. So I think I'm gonna add seasons at the back pages that are remaining there. So that is all of my little books that I have there. And that is how I used it for October. 
Oh, and then I'm just showing you at the back how it says Ashley G in gold there. And she's the designer of this particular um, traveler's notebook. And so I was so excited because it says Ashley and that's my name as well. So I just thought that was so cool that it has my name like embossed inside. So now I just added this little bit on at the end. Since doing those past two videos, I have now decorated the dashboard for November. So I thought I would quick show you how I'm gonna go forward using my book for November. So there is my dashboard for November and I think it looks so cute and I love how it looks like so fallish. So that is what I'm gonna be using for my dashboard. Again, I'll be using my bullet journal this month and my little bill book, and those will be remaining in there. I actually did take out my little washi book, and I love this so much, but I think what I'm gonna do, because it's so bulky and quite heavy with all those washi samples, I think I'm gonna put this either in my little washi bin or I'm gonna put it into my little tote that I have all of my um, pens and that in. So then I also am gonna be taking this out. This was my October insert here and I'm gonna be starting using a new one. So I put at the bottom volume one and then I'm just going to put this into a little basket in my craft room so I can keep them all together. This is what I'm gonna be using for November and this is the other insert that came from Webster's Pages and this is the one with the pink grid on it. And I love how it's pink, it's so cute. So I'm opening it up to the middle and then I'm going to attach it in there using the little string. And my book feels so light now that I've taken out the washi book and the October insert. And I just am so excited to get started. I feel totally inspired to do some pages. So that is my little share of my traveler's notebook. I will be back to share more with you guys if you are interested in seeing more of these. And thank you again so much for watching. Bye guys.